Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. I recorded a bunch of footage of me talking to my mom, uh, talking with my mom, about when she was 25. And so here that is. There's a whole bunch of it, and I think you will find it entertaining. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> so, this is my mom, and Hi. she's going to talk about when she was 25. Okay. So. Well, let's see. When I was 25, I was living in New York. Mm -hmm. I was living in Staten Island because it was cheap rent. And I had a kind of interesting job. I worked for Cannon Mills. Okay. And I used to design textile fabrics. I used to design drapery fabrics for places like that would sell to JCPenney and sell to mm -hmm. Sears and right. that, that type of thing. Okay. So most of my job would be up in an office in Rockefeller Center in the Time Life building. Uh -huh. <laughs> and about once every four to six weeks, I would travel down to Burlington, North Carolina. Okay, is and that where they made? That's where the, that's where the mill was. Okay. And Burlington was this really small town in North Carolina. Yeah. And it was really weird. We, I fly into Raleigh, Durham, so that's kind of where it's near, mm -hmm. in the middle of the state. and. I'd fly down there and they would have a sample run set up for me with all the yarns how I had told them to arrange it in the yeah. room. And then they would run different strike-offs based on different patterns I would tell them to do. What's a strike-off? Strike-off, <laughs> I'm sorry, is, um, well then it was yard, sample yardage. Okay. So in other words, I'd say, do, you, do weave A where you do this, you know, different variations of yarn, mm -hmm. different variations of how tight the yarns or how loose the yarns were yeah. in the fabric. And then I would look at them and say, yeah, that's kind of what my customer wants. It's kind of not what my customer would want. Mm -hmm. I'd also work with the um, dye lab because the way we did the fabrics a lot of times, it was cheaper to have a fabric in a neutral color uh -huh. and then with different fibers in it. And the fibers would pick up different colors. And so instead of having inventory of blue yarn, yellow yarn, pink yarn, what they would do is they would have one inventory of one yarn and then the dye lot for fabric blue would be dyed with this one color and the pink would be dyed with another. Okay, so instead of storing a bunch of each of the right. things, it just took down the procedure for making that specific color of that? Right, and okay. then they would just dye the whole fabric in there. Okay, well, makes sense, I guess. Yeah. So it was kind of an interesting, it was a very interesting job because on one hand, I would be spending my life in New York City, yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be going to this small mill town, which uh -huh. is like, a, and back then especially, the country wasn't as homogenous as it is right now. Yeah. So Still was, not that homogenous, but I, I know what you're saying. You know, I mean, so, I mean, the restaurants there were much different than the restaurants up north. I'm sure. <laughs> you, didn't, you know, the, yes, you had McDonald's and Burger King and, you know, that type of chain, mm -hmm. but you didn't have the same chains to the same extent. Yeah. You didn't have the same stores as to the same extent. Mm -hmm. So you were really getting to another world. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I was doing. Nice. Yeah. So it was kind of fun living in New York, I guess, yeah. say, when you're 25 and you don't care. <laughs> I'm sure. Were you living with a roommate? I was living with a roommate. Um, I don't remember which one. I had two roommates in Staten Island. I don't remember at that point whether right. it was Kathy or Marianne. But mm -hmm. um, my commute was, if you pay cheap rent in New York, you have a commute. Yeah. yeah. So my commute was, I took the train to the ferry. Mm -hmm. I took the Staten Island Ferry across. Mm -hmm. To Southbury, okay. and then I had like a forty-minute commute to on train again on the subway. Okay, yeah. To uh, Rockefeller Center, which is like in Midtown. Gotcha. So, like all together, do you remember about how long it was? Oh, it was about an hour, twenty minutes, hour and a half, which okay. was a mild commute from New York. Yeah, I I can see that. Like, but it was <laughs> kind of neat to take the ferry back and forth. Yeah. Because it was very restful at the especially at the end of the day. Right. You just kind of <laughs> like going across out on the, the water. Yeah, just. exactly. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, it, you know obviously fashions and fed. I mean, that was disco. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we were bridge and tunnel people as mm -hmm. we were so, you know, that the people in Manhattan used to look down at people who came in from the borough, the outer boroughs, yeah. like, uh, you know, Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, Jersey, to come mm -hmm. into Manhattan for nightlife. So yeah. we were part of the, those bridge and tunnel. Those people. bridge and tunnel people. But yeah. it was cheap rent. Yeah, so, like, my first, it, it makes sense, was, you know. This was my second job mm -hmm. out of FIT, so uh -huh. I wasn't making a whole lot of money. Yeah. You know, so, uh, so yeah. So, but, but it was exciting to be in Manhattan. It was yeah. exciting to be in New York. Um, you, know, I had, you know, I hung with friends from FIT, so mm -hmm. it was a very eclectic group. I'm sure. <laughs> Did most of the graduates from FIT stay in the area? Yeah. Well, first of all, were. most of the graduates from FIT were from New York. 
because right. FIT okay. was um, FIT Fashion Institute, Institute of Technology, Technology was in, and <laughs> it just most kids came from the metro. I wouldn't say the metro, but New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. you know that that area. Yeah. So they stayed in New York, New Jersey, okay. in that area. Makes sense. Yeah. So what else do you want to know? Um. What was your life like just outside of work? I know you said you went into the city to. Well, we, you know, I mean, we I didn't do a lot of clubs. Yeah. I mean, you know, right. you I know, mean, but, but I mean, I had friends. We would sometimes we'd hang out around Staten Island. Mm -hmm. um, one, you know, I was involved with a nonprofit that tried to raise money to make a certain part of Staten Island a park, which never oh. really happened, but it was still. That's fun a cool to project, do. though. Yeah. It was a cool project. Um, I mean, you know, it's same thing like. Every twenty, you know, you would hang out with friends. Yeah. You would, uh, you know, you would, um, you know, go out to dinner. You would mm -hmm. go, you know, whatever. You know, I dated a guy for a while back then, so there was that whole thing. <laughs> Obviously, not daddy. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the timeline does not work out there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing as today, except that the music was much different. Mm -hmm. The fashions well, it's coming were, sort of back around to disco, like <laughs> yeah, the fashions were much different because mm -hmm. the eighties were. Um, I was 25 in 1980, so the 80s were very polyester. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's the tail end of disco, so it was very yeah. polyester, very clean. Prices were different. Huh? Prices. Prices, obviously, were different. We also had a problem with the, that was the last year of Carter's administration, so we had the whole Iran hostage crisis. Mm -hmm. We were having super inflation. I mean, you could yeah. get a bank account that paid like 15, 20% interest. Wow. But. <laughs> I mean, it's like every time you turned around, the prices and stuff yeah. would go up. So it was really hard to save money because you were right. just chewing yeah. through money like nobody's business. Huh. But, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's just, you know, when I think of the look, it's mm -hmm. just, I'm just, it's like, I just think of polyester. And like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what, that's what the fashion yeah, was. Was Sleepy and, you know, because you were into, you know, um, you know, everybody, you know, that kind of a movement, that's, you know, type mm -hmm. of thing. And, you know, so so obviously if it's disco, what people were, I mean, not only listening to, but that's the beat that right. people were dancing to. And mm -hmm. so that was very... Fabric that moved right. Exactly. To disco beat. Exactly. Okay. So, I mean, there's that. And, and I'm trying to remember, um, I remember Big Hair, but I don't know if that's that was like Big Hair started then or whether that was after then. Yeah. And gas prices, again, were like, you know, and there was... Well, no, I don't, gas prices were super expensive mm -hmm. for the time yeah. because there was all kinds of, OPEC was holding us hostage. Yeah. So they would say, oh, we don't want to give you gas. So it's like, there's all these gas lines and gas rationing and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. you just learn to live with it. Yeah. Well, so. and did you drive much? Well, I had a car out in Staten Island mm -hmm. because... Probably Staten to go Island, further out into the... Yeah, Staten Island is like, it's like being in the burbs. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, so yeah, I didn't drive into the city in Manhattan at all, right? Because it was like even you know it. not worth it definitely. And and yeah. New York is wonderfully connected by public transit, so right. you didn't need to. But like like if especially like if I was going into the city on the weekend mm -hmm. and the trains and the ferry schedule was so erratic, right? I'd, I'd drive to the ferry station and park at the ferry station. Okay, yeah, because I imagine much yeah. like out here. The right. train uh, schedules for where the ones that go into the suburbs are not quite as yeah exactly regular. And the other <laughs> thing is when I would go down to North Carolina, I would mm -hmm. fly out of Newark. Okay, so I, so that was like a thirty to, forty minute yeah. drive. So, so I would um, drive to Newark, park the car there, fly down to Raleigh, come mm -hmm. back. How frequently did you travel there? Like about a once a month, every six weeks or so. Oh, okay, so yeah, I, mean, I was down there a lot. Point. Yeah, perfect. And I was a New York Jew, one of the New York Jews that came down to the. Yeah. South. I mean, okay. the South then, <laughs> not that there are, I mean. It depends the, where you go now. I mean. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, with they were very much conscious of the fact that I was a New Yorker, mm -hmm. I was a Jew, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I was, um, well, I wasn't, they said I wasn't like the rest of them, I wasn't as pushy, which I think is kind <laughs> of a backhanded compliment, but I'm not so. real sure about that. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, but. Uh, it was a really strange feeling, like I'd go to the movie, because I'm traveling by myself. Right. And I had no reason to be afraid yeah. down there. Cause, That's good. But I'd go to the movie, and then I'd go out on the mill floor the next day, and they'd say, how do you like the movie? And I'm like, <laughs> too <laughs> small, too <laughs> small. <laughs> but I did, I mean, I don't eat Carolina barbecue now, because it's got pork, and we've been keeping kosher since I, you know. A great sacrifice. It, it is a great sacrifice. <laughs> Carolina barbecue is just, it, it, I, I mean, they used to take me to these barbecue shacks, uh -huh. which were like, had gen, you know, the pig was roasting like all day, and, yeah. and it was just so good. 
But I still eat Brunswick stew, although the way I make Brunswick stew now is probably a lot, you know, I, they, I think they're a lot sketchier down there. Yeah. You know, who knows what was in it. But, but it was like, good. what's the difference in how they made it and how you make it besides, like, you know, more of what goes into yours? Well, like, <laughs> I use basically chicken. Yeah. I have no idea when they would make it down there, squirrel. whether it was squirrel or chicken yeah. or what was in it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, um... A few weeks ago, I went when I was grocery shopping um, at H Mart, which is the um, Korean Korean grocery store, yeah. like ten minutes west of my apartment. Um, I bought I impulse bought a rabbit, and so I was looking up rabbit recipes online because I'm like, I've yeah. never cooked a rabbit before. Yeah. I don't know what to do with this. Like, I could, in pieces, I have some ideas, but like, yeah. Oh, uh, but so I was looking it up, and it was all like rabbit and squirrel recipes for hunters, and I'm like, oh. Well, that's helpful. Also, gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but helpful. Yeah, you know, I'm sure, you mean, I don't know, I, it could probably have beef or pork or chicken right, or whatever. Right. But, you know, it's like what I've done is I've just taken that general thing, and I mm -hmm. usually use chicken or beef in my friends that stew. But cool. that was another thing that I brought with them. But the other thing is, again, the regionality is that, like, because there was manufacturing down there, mm -hmm. they had outlet stores, but they didn't have... Like, if there was an outlet, shoe outlet store for mm -hmm. a manufacturer, that was the only place the outlet was. It was right next to the factory. Oh, so it wasn't so like, like outlet malls. It no, was they didn't like have outlet malls. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess so, that is more, is that Cannon more Mill, like, I worked for Cannon Mills, yeah. and sometimes I would go to Kannapolis, <laughs> which was closer to Charlotte, North Carolina. I see. And they would have the Cannon outlet store right next to their mills, which would be... Um, and would those outlet stores sell just, like, fabric? No, they would just sell the, re the you know, well, they, they would sell the products, and what they would be is like the rejects of the, yeah. you know, the runs, right. or the overruns, mm -hmm. or the overstocks. Yeah. But it wasn't, you know, you didn't have outlet malls, you just right. had next to the factory mm -hmm. was the store. The outlet. The right outlet. There. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But that's, that again, long ago and far away, so yeah. now here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's, you know, and I enjoyed living in New York. I enjoyed that life a lot, but I got to the point in a couple of years mm -hmm. that it was like yeah. I had to make the decision of do I want to stay here for the rest of my life in New York City and come back to Chicago? And if you've been in the Midwest, if you've been born and bred in the Midwest, mm -hmm. living yeah, in New York City can sometimes be like, uh, no. So that's when I wound down my New York experience, yeah. but that was several years later. Yeah. So that's what I was doing in 25. I was designing Yay. fabrics. I was living in Staten Island. I was commuting to New York and going to Burlington, North Carolina. Yep. Busy life. I Busy like life. Yeah. Yes, it was <laughs> Although, and one more funny story, and then yeah. I'll let you go, is that, so you know when you travel someplace, how you pick up an accent sometimes? Did you? Well, I would pick <laughs> up, I had kind of a New York yeah. accent, not not like Daddy's, but right. kind of a New York accent from being in Be New York. living there. Okay. And then I'd go down south. Mm. And pick up a little bit of a draw. And then <laughs> so I'd you come just back. Be a slow New York accent. You did. <laughs> and I'd come back and call like somebody in Chicago, and they would know what the hell I was <laughs> saying like, between the New York and. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. So. Good story. That's it. Yep. Mom's birthday was January third. Yay! So happy birthday. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Did you like it? Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to Cleveland tomorrow um, for a super exciting January visit time, also known as Science Fiction Marathon, <laughs> and I'm, you know, excited to see people and see movies and all that, and I'm sad that you can't be there, but, you know, plane tickets, um, hearts. Bye. Robbie, say hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on the internet, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs>